So this word of the Lord that comes through the prophet Ezekiel, which we read at the great vigil of Easter, the famous dry bones passage, it testifies to the essential quality of life with God. It testifies to the, the Christian vision of the human person. Technically, we would call that anthropology. The Christian vision of the human person. That is, we are not just flesh and bone. We're not just flesh and sinew. The, you know, you, you notice how in that new creation, that vision of the new creation, it's like the flesh and the muscles and the sinews all come up onto the bones. And the process, after all that happens, the process is incomplete. The new creation has not yet been fulfilled. That is to say, we are not just a bundle of cells and, you know, governed by some electricity up here between our ears. We are not material creatures only. We are material beings and that we have a physical life, a material life, but that life is animated by God's own spirit given to us as a gift. That is after that material creation, we, the, he says prophesy to this breath, which is the same word for spirit, prophesy to the panauma, prophesy to the ruach, prophesy to the wind, breath, spirit. All is, it means all those things so that God's own spirit and the breath is deliberately linked. It's supposed to be, you were, you were supposed to be thinking of Genesis chapter two, where God creates, he, he molds Adam from the clay of the earth and then breathes into him. He breathes his own life, God's own life, his own spirit into Adam, into the human person. And so in Ezekiel, what we have is the vision of the new creation, the new humanity with a new breathing, a new inspiration from God that enables us to live with God in perfect love and joy and peace. That's the vision of being brought back to your own soil, back to your own homeland, where you know you can you'll eat the figs off your own trees and eat the grapes off your is for an agricultural people, that's a vision of abundance and joy and peace and feasting. And that is the destiny of the human person, that we are more than just skin and bones. We are also spirit. And spirit doesn't mean disembodied. In fact, the vision of Ezekiel says just the opposite. To be spiritual people precisely means to be embodied people the spirit of God's own life, the capacity for eternity, the capacity for perfect love, the capacity for sheer joy in encountering the other. This is all that that spirit gives to us. And we are to live these things. We are to live this love and this joy and this encounter with the other and with God precisely in our bodies, in the flesh that has been redeemed from the power of death and made into perfect instruments of new creation power. That's the glorious vision of Ezekiel. And that's what we're called to proclaim to our culture, that we are not just skin and bones, but we have the capacity for love. We have a capacity for eternity. We have a capacity for God's own life. And that is the crowning piece of the human person. That is the crown of the human person. And that is our destiny, which we all human people are called to live into. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord came upon me and he brought me out by the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley and they were very dry. He said to me, mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O oh Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. 
So I prophesied as I had been commanded, and as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. I looked, and there were sinews on them, and flesh had come upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up, and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves, O my people. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live, and, you sh will place, and I will place you on your own soil, then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.